Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jeanne coming at you with another video and as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about the new Kayali Baby Love Fest Burning Cherry 48 and if you guys are interested in seeing what my thoughts are, how the performance is, what I recommend this fragrance, etc, then go ahead and just keep on watching. All right, y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing. Stop and leave me your sin of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jeanne. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from... Mwah. Now let's hop into today's video because I have so many thoughts on this fragrance and I have a surprise for you guys if you stay until the end. So here is the fragrance. This is Love Fest Burning Cherry 48 and this fragrance is supposed to be Mona's festival type of scent. It's supposed to be a very fun, happy, uplifting scent but kind of sexy at the same time. And of course, the main accord that you're supposed to get out of this scent is the burning cherry or a cherry note. This to me is one of the more playful scents in the collection. The scent isn't too serious, but I can see how this fragrance is a little bit more sexier than some of the others like Eden. I can see how that one's very, very playful and this one is a little bit more sexier, but it's not as sexy as say Elixir. That is one that's very polarizing in my opinion. So when I purchased this scent, I made sure not to watch any reviews. I just wanted to have my genuine thoughts. I didn't want to be influenced by anyone else and I can say <laughs> I've used this fragrance a few days now because I received this fragrance on Friday. Today is now Monday so I've been wearing it ever since I got it and I have some thoughts. I really have some thoughts and I'm excited to tell you guys what I think. So with this review I'm going to start off with the packaging. The packaging is just the standard Kaoli box. You of course get the Kaoli logo on the front. You get the name of the fragrance. On the back you get some of the key notes and of course you get the Huda Beauty website and Kaoli's social media platforms. I really like how Kaoli's bottles are, how their packaging is, and I just love how it's just like luxurious, sexy, but it's still pretty minimal. So it's just the standard box. I just really like how simple it is. Now something that I did notice on the bottle, the actual bottle of the fragrance, is that she put the keynotes on the back of the fragrance, which I think is very handy. And I have Eden Juicy Apple right here it doesn't have any of the notes on the back but the bottles are the exact same all of the Kaoli bottles are the same they just have different colors some of them are clear and show the juice some of them are colored some have a little bit of that iridescence to it and you can see through it if you put it up to the light but if you just look at the bottle you can't really see through it so this is her utopia scent which has that quality and this is invite only which also has that quality they're different colors but they are a little bit more opaque than say this bottle or Eden I was a little little bit worried when I purchased this because I thought that the shade of this bottle looked similar to Eden but Eden is very much so a true red and I would say Love Fest is a little bit more of like a magenta so you can definitely tell a difference especially on camera what they look like but again the caps are the same bottles are the same it's just a different color but these both have that like translucent type of look now with all that being said with the bottle and the packaging let's get into the fragrance so I'm gonna actually spray it on myself again I already have it on my skin dry down on this side. I have some on here too, but I'm going to spray myself just to give myself the opening. Spread on the back of my hand too. And also I love the Kaoli itemizers. They are just so just luxurious and they get that fine mist. It's a pressurized itemizer. So the more pressure you put on the more fragrance comes out at once, which I absolutely love. So getting into this scent, I would describe this fragrance as a sweet, fruity, slightly woody scent. It has a little bit of smokiness to it, but not too much. It's not too smoky, but I can tell that there's something very warm and inviting about the fragrance. And I would also say that I get this nice depth to the fragrance but in a sweet way. This fragrance isn't a cloying scent. It isn't overly sweet but you definitely get that cherry. You definitely get some praline. I definitely get that but yeah I really really like how this fragrance opens up especially with that cherry. It's very sexy. It's sensual. It's fun but it's not doing too much. I really can see how this fragrance can be a lot of people's favorites because 
Vanilla 28 is one that's very feminine, it's sexy, it's sweet, and this is similar but it has a little bit of a twist because of that cherry note. And the cherry note is a very warm, deep cherry. It's not a very bright, happy in your face cherry. It's not very flirty in my opinion. I would describe Eden as being like a flirty scent. This fragrance is a little bit more sexy in my opinion. So according to the keynotes on the back of the bottle, this fragrance has burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guyac wood, and patchouli. I don't get much patchouli in this fragrance at all especially deep in the dry down I do get something that's like a little bit warm but it's not patchouli to me so I think they did their thing with kind of blending that patchouli in very nicely because sometimes patchouli can come off as like chocolatey but sometimes it can come off very earthy and dirt like so I know a lot of people who don't like patchouli I think if you're not a fan of patchouli you might still like this fragrance because I don't get much of it at all the fruitiness in the opening is very very pleasant but it doesn't linger around too long the cherry does stay. The raspberry is what like comes out but then it kind of sits in the background so that the cherry can shine. And then the praline is very nice. It's a gourmand touch to the fragrance but it doesn't do too much. To me personally, I don't get too much Palo Santo in this fragrance but I do kind of get a smokiness so I think that's where that smokiness comes from in this scent. But it's not as smoky as say by the fireplace by Maison Margiela. It's not smoky like that type of scent because that's a very smoky scent in my opinion. It has a nice light smokiness which I think adds just a different quality to the fragrance. So if I had to give this fragrance a rating, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10 just because personally I don't like the performance on this fragrance. I love how it smells. It does give me Tom Ford Lost Cherry vibes with a little bit of smokiness, but it doesn't really project on my skin like how I want it to. So I do overspray my fragrances, but I know a lot of people don't. So the first couple of days that I wore it, I sprayed it just, you know, in my pulse points and I wanted to see how like the everyday person would smell the scent. And at first, like, yeah, it smells great. It projects well I would say for the first two and a half to three hours and then after that it starts to sit closer to the skin and for me like if I don't overspray that's not enough for me I need it to project and really really like capture people's attention I will say that this is an attention getter people are gonna ask you what you're wearing or tell you that you smell good so I can see this being a compliment getter but I will say that if you spray, you know, two or three sprays, you might not get the compliments that you're looking for. So you probably should spray a little bit more. But when I wore it yesterday, I sprayed my normal amount and I loved it. it performed very well. It stuck on my skin. It stuck on my clothes. It even got in my hair a little bit. I did get complimented. So I would say just spray a little bit more of this fragrance. You don't have to go like OD, like over the top but spray a little bit more and you'll definitely get the compliments that you're looking for but overall I will say that this is a very very nice scent so I'm very happy that I was able to purchase this try it out give you guys my thoughts please let me know if you like videos like this one because I would love to get more reviews out to you guys of newer releases I think this is very fun it really allows me to dive deep into the fragrance and get kind of geeky about it so please let me know what you guys think about today's video so I have a little surprise for you guys if you made it this far this is a cute little 10 mil box bottle of the fragrance and I decided to purchase this and do a little giveaway just to show you guys my appreciation and I want you guys to try it out if you have not already. So the rules to this giveaway is pretty simple. First I need you to subscribe to my channel because I need you to be a supporter and I need you to show me some love. So subscribe to my channel to like this video one so I know you guys like videos like this but also so I know to enter you into the giveaway. Three I need you to follow me on Instagram which I'll have my Instagram on the screen here and a link to my Instagram down in the description box and at number four I need you to leave me a comment with the cherry emoji and the fire emoji that will let me know that you want to be entered into the giveaway so again thank y'all for watching I love you guys so so much and I'll see you all in the next one Bye.